What is up everybody out there? My name is Saf. I hope you all are having an amazing day out there. Well guys, today we'll be making your day even more amazing by showing you a tutorial on how to upgrade Samsung Galaxy Note 3 to Android Oreo. I know it sounds crazy like how a 5 year phone can actually get such an amazing support by the developers but it is as it is and we are lucky to have that. So yeah, without any further talk, let's just get straight into the video. So guys, let's just quickly take a look at the sort of information of this ROM. So in about device here, guys, you can see that the Android version is 8.1.0. Oh, now guys, here is the Easter egg. And if I go ahead and long press on this Easter egg, it is going to take me to this screen. And here we have this beautiful octopus. And yeah, you can also move this octopus uh, anywhere on the screen. Now guys, coming back to the home screen, well, this is the launcher which you guys are going to be having with this from. And the good thing about this launcher is that it is actually accessible through gestures. Now, in order to get inside of the app drawer, all you have to do is to just swipe up anywhere on the home screen and this way you can get inside of it. And guys, I'm not really sure whether you can actually see the background of this app drawer, but it is actually semi-transparent. So you can actually see uh, the wallpaper half it there. Now guys, you can also uh, drop the notification panel by swiping down anywhere on the home screen just like that. And guys, uh, Google has actually added the settings icon underneath the toggles. So now you don't even have to expand the uh, notification panel in order to get inside of the settings. So here you can quickly get inside of settings by just tapping this gear icon and there you go. And now guys, I want to talk about some settings which I think you guys should adapt immediately after you install this from on your Samsung Galaxy Note. 3 and guys these were the settings which actually made me switch from the stroke chrome to this from now guys before i go ahead and talk about those settings uh, i want to quickly make a small uh, screen comparison between my samsung galaxy note 3 and my iphone so uh, on the left side i have my uh, galaxy note 3 and on the right side i have my iphone now guys uh, clearly uh, you can see that this screen is more attractive of course uh, the screen of the iphone looks absolutely stunning because it is uh, precisely color calibrated but if I talk about uh, the screen of my Galaxy Note 3 uh, it is actually giving out a very very bad colors and to be honest it has actually lost this shine it no longer gives those colors which actually attract uh, the human eyes now guys uh, it's all because this screen is giving out warm colors now in order to color calibrate this screen uh, this one actually offers us uh, some settings uh, which actually do an amazing job in this regard now in order to color calibrate your screen all you have to do is just uh, get inside of settings and then in display and here you will find this option right here live display go ahead and tap on that and after that you have to tap on display mode and here you have to select day option and boom shakalaka <laughs> now you have your screen precisely color calibrated it no longer looks ugly and yeah just go ahead and enjoy your beautiful display now and guys, in Android or your Google has actually taken a lot of inspiration from Apple. Like on iOS, if you go ahead and 3D touch any of the applications, you actually get this kind of menu where you have some shortcuts. And if you go ahead and do the same thing on Android, uh, but by long pressing on any of the applications, you kind of get to see the same result. Now here I have long pressed on the Messages app and it has given me uh, some options like Edit, Widgets and App Info. The first uh, option actually lets me change the name of that application. The second one actually shows me the type of widgets that are available for that application, which can be added on the home screen. And the third option gives me the App Info. Now here guys, I can actually set the permissions for that application. I can also check uh, the storage that that is being consumed by that application and all such stuff. Okay now guys I want to talk about a very nice feature that has been added inside of Android Oreo regarding notifications. Well guys uh, if you're receiving a lot of notifications from a certain application you can actually snooze them up. So in order to do that you have to first of all drop the notification panel down and then select the application that is receiving the notifications and then slide it up. After that you will find a new icon right next to the gear icon of settings so go ahead and tap on that and here guys you can actually set the timer for how long you want to uh, snooze an application so I'm gonna go with 15 minutes and yeah that's about it and by the way guys through this ROM you can actually control the DPI of your entire system really easily and you know what guys a couple of years back I actually used to uh, install certain kind of mods just to get my desired DPI installed on my system and honestly speaking that used to be a very hectic task but I'm really happy now since this ROM actually offers uh, me the capability 
to change the DPI in no time. And by the way, guys, if you have no idea about um, you know this DPI stuff, well, it's a feature that actually lets the system increase or decrease the amount of data that can be put on the screen. So I'm gonna quickly show you this feature in action so that you can get to know more about that. So in order to access this feature, you have to get inside of settings and then inside of accessibility and the display tab, you will find display size. So go ahead and tap on that. Now here, guys, you can see we have some uh, conversation going on. So if I go ahead and move the uh, slider towards left, you can see that the text uh, starts getting smaller. So similarly, uh, on the second page, I have some icons. If I go ahead and move the slider towards right, uh, the icons start getting bigger. So yeah, this feature can actually influence your system very greatly. So go ahead and take a look at that. I hope you will really, really like it. And guys, sadly, you're gonna be missing at the uh, touchless features of the S Pen with this from because it is an USB one. But the good news here is that the S Pen does work absolutely fine and you can actually perform certain tasks using gestures uh, through the S Pen. Now, let me just quickly take out my S Pen to show you a couple of gestures. Now here, guys, if I go ahead and long press the S Pen by hovering it over the screen, it actually opens up the camera. How cool is that? And similarly, guys, if I go ahead and swipe up by long pressing the S Pen, it actually enables the flash. There you go. And similarly, you can turn it off by doing the same thing. Now guys, in order to access the gestures, you have to get inside of settings. And here you have to get inside of system. After that, you will find the gestures option. So go ahead and tap on that. After that, you have to tap on touch screen gestures. Now here you can uh, set what uh, task you wanna perform using the gestures. And guys, there are some linear specific features inside of this form as well. Like you can actually change the buttons of this phone for doing different functions. For instance, if I go ahead and long press on this menu button, it actually opens up the recent app switcher. Now you can change that as well. So in order to do that, you have to get inside of settings and then in system, you will find the buttons option. So we're gonna tap on that. Now here guys, under the menu button tab, you can see that the long press action has been set to a recent app switcher. Now you can change that too. So in order to do that, just go ahead and tap on that. And from here, you can choose whatever you wanna go with. Then similarly, you can change the other buttons here as well. And by the way, guys, a couple of minutes back, I actually found out that if you go ahead and double tap on the status bar, it actually locks the phone. So if I do that here, you can see it locks the phone. So yeah, pretty cool feature to check. And guys, uh, I guess I've almost covered all the topics which were to be covered about this ROM. And uh, one thing I forgot to talk about, the camera app also works absolutely fine. The video also works pretty good. And talking about the battery timing of this ROM, well, I have kind of observed that it is almost 40% better than the stock ROM's battery timing. So it's pretty cool. And talking about the performance, well, I have kind of gotten uh, about 60,000 uh, score on the benchmarks, which is very, very higher than what you actually get on the stock ROM. And and yeah, I can actually recommend this from uh, to you guys as a daily driver for your smartphones. So yeah, go ahead and give it a try. And now I will proceed ahead and show you the how can you install this from on your Galaxy Note 3. So guys, in order to install this from on your Galaxy Note 3, you actually need the ROM file that is actually given in the description of this video. So yeah, go there, download it, and then uh, you have to store it on your phone. After that, uh, we actually need a custom recovery tool which we will be installing uh, the ROM and uh, the the required one for this process is Torb Recovery 3.2.1.1 and if you don't have that, no worries, that is also linked down in the description of this video. And now I'm going to be going ahead uh, to show you the how you can actually install uh, the Torb Recovery on your Galaxy Note 3. So guys, in order to install the Torb Recovery on our Galaxy Note 3 devices, we have to get inside of uh, the download mode. Now in order to get inside of that, you have to press and hold uh, the power key, the volume down key and center home all at the same time same time. So guys, after you have gone inside of the download mode, uh, now you have to connect your uh, phone to the PC. After that, go ahead and open up Odin. And here guys, you have to take your phone once again and press the volume up key. And after that guys, you will find uh, this blue colored box. Uh, this will actually prompt you that now you can flash uh, certain zip files, whatever you have on your device. All right, after that, you have to go and tap on AP. And here you have to select your Twerp recovery bill. Uh, for me, it's 3.2.1.1, so go ahead and tap on open, and after that, uh, you can go ahead and tap the start button to start the process. So I'm going to quickly tap that, 
and there you go the process has begun now and within a couple of seconds uh, it will be completely flash on my device and there you go and uh, now you have uh, successfully gotten uh, Twerp Recovery installed on your Galaxy Note 3. And now all you have to do is to just go ahead and press and hold the power key, the center home and the power up key and you will be booted inside of the custom recovery. So guys, once you have gotten inside of the Twerp Recovery, go ahead and tap on Vibe and then Advanced Vibe. Here you have to select Delve Cache System Data and Cache. So once you have selected these items, uh, just go ahead and swipe to wipe them up. Next up guys, you have to move to the location where you uh, saved your ROM file and by the way guys, I forgot to mention earlier that you also need the Google Apps. You don't have to uh, go for the OpenG Apps, uh, you have to download these specific Mind Google Apps and I have also given the download link for these um, in the description of this video. So yeah, you have to save them uh, also on your smartphone. All right. Uh, first of all, we are going to flash the Lineage OS Zip, so select that, after that, swipe to flash it. So guys, after the ROM has been flashed, just go back and uh, now you can go ahead and uh, flash the Google Apps. So yeah, do the same thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and reboot your system. So yeah, that was the video about the Linear OS, uh, in particular the Android 8.1.0 uh, Oreo for Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comments below. And yeah, see you guys next time.